Like giant exclamation marks, skyscrapers punctuate the story of our urban development. People always want to reach. There's something heavenly about it, and people have wanted to race for height forever. Developed by the pioneers of architecture in the late 19th century, they were, at the time, the equivalent of our going to the moon. These magnificently designed tower giants urbanized some of the greatest cities in the world. It's about defying gravity and leaving a sign of humanity. From Chicago to London, from Tokyo to Dubai, skyscrapers have and continue to define our contemporary way of life. The reason we want to go higher, I think it's very deep inside us. You know, it's part of our mythology, the Tower of Babel. When you go hiking, you want to see what's over the top of the hill. It's, it's very, very central to our being. As engineers and architects, it's a great way to show our technological feat to reach the sky. And it's also a tale of constant evolution, constant improvement and progress, honestly. Skylines are the result of technological and urban advancement throughout our world's greatest cities. From generation to generation, we are compelled to build safer, smarter, and higher. And nowhere is this legacy more evident than the windy city of Chicago. You can look at a place like Los Angeles, which is known for its entertainment industry. You can look at New York, which would be finance. Miami would be fashion. And Chicago really is architecture. Part of the great thing the architecture community has done is to always build differently. So everything is sort of a riot of different styles and different eras. Everything holds up. In the mid-19th century, Chicago grew exponentially as people migrated to the Midwest seeking new opportunities. Chicago was the first modern city. It was the first city to be conceived in a modern way. And Chicago had the fortuitous, but also the infamous, uh, start because of the fire. A great fire struck the sprawling lakeside town of Chicago and threatened to wipe its very name off the map. And the fire had basically destroyed everything in Chicago, which at that time were simply wood frame buildings. But it had the opportunity to really think anew about the city and what it means to build in a modern way. Within six weeks after the fire, 300 new buildings were on the rise. Some of Chicago's new buildings were the first skyscrapers, marking a new departure in architecture. When the sort of phoenix rises from the ashes, it's architecture that saves Chicago. 